Hey there, it's Wendy from Worldwide Speak, and I'm here to show you three quick, basic comma rules to help you improve your writing in English. Let's learn. All right, first, one of the most common uses for the comma is when we have three or more items in a list. For example, if I were to say, I love running, hiking, and skiing. I would put a comma after each item so that you know there are three, running, hiking, and skiing. Another example would be like this. Elena has lived in Spain, Mexico, the United States, and Canada. So you can see that each item, when there are three or more, is separated by a comma. Please make a note that when we have two things, we do not use a comma. For example, Xavier likes pizza and pasta. Notice there is no comma between the pizza and pasta because they're only two items in that list. Number two, another common use of the comma is when we have a compound sentence. If you don't know what a compound sentence is, please watch my video on the three sentence types. That will explain what a compound sentence is very clearly. So when we use the comma, with a compound sentence, we use it before the conjunction, such as and, for, but, so, and there are a few others. For example, Vanessa plays guitar and she plays piano. You can see the compound sentence with two independent clauses joined by a conjunction, the comma goes right before that conjunction of and. Another example looks like this. They are going on vacation tomorrow. So they are packing tonight. You can see in that sentence, we have the two indep independent clauses. They are going on vacation tomorrow. They are packing tonight. They're joined by the conjunction, so, with the comma before it. So it's a compound sentence. They are going on vacation tomorrow, comma, so, which is a conjunction, they are packing tonight. You can see we use the comma before the conjunction when we have a compound sentence. And third, Another common use of the comma is when we have an introductory word or phrase. When we have an introductory word or phrase, it separates that from the rest of the sentence. For example, first, write down all of the ideas that come to mind. You can see the word first, and then there's a comma following it. First is an introductory word, and the comma separates it from the rest of the sentence. Another example would look like this. Because it was cold, Vanessa put on her jacket. You can see that phrase which begins with the word because, because it was cold, and then we put a comma which separates it from the rest of the sentence, Vanessa put on her jacket. One more example. In sum, Chicago is an extremely exciting place to visit. You can see there we have the words in sum. It's an introductory set of words and then it's followed by a comma and we have the rest of the sentence. Okay, so there you have it. Three quick basic common uses for the comma to help you write better when you begin writing in English. Use the comma with lists, 
for three or more things. Use the comma before a conjunction in compound sentences. And use the comma after introductory words or phrases. Thank you so much for learning with us. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. And as always, we really appreciate it when you subscribe to our channel because it allows us to share this information with more people around the world who are learning English. Thanks again. Take care.